Hey everyone, this is James. And today I'd just like to give you guys a small update. Um, you know, regarding me, where I've been, uh, and where this channel is actually going. You know, where's this channel actually heading towards? Um, okay, where have I been? Busy. Doing other projects on other channels, which I'm gonna keep secret for the time being, but... Mainly because hardware limitations. That's why I haven't actually been able to do um, Let's Plays. You're probably thinking, oh, well, that's BS, James, because you were recording fine with your Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, but it wasn't smooth, and it's very difficult for me to get stereo with my current setup, because what I need to do to get stereo, good sound, HD recording, with a PIP um, webcam, okay, I need to record the webcam with my Logitech software, I need to record the audio with Audacity for a stereo mix, and I need to record the game screen with fraps. Now, I've only done this once, but compiling those free stream those free streams together is a hell of a chore. And me doing that every week, I think, is no is co going to be very tiresome. And yeah, obviously there's going to have to be a much faster way to compile videos, and also obviously hardware. Dual Core 2 Duo, no, Core 2 Duo, 1.8 gigahertz. This is an overclock. This is one of the, like, the second worst Intel Core 2 Duos of 2007 you could get. Yeah, it renders slow. I actually need to... When I was doing the Star Wars Out of the Old Republic Let's Plays, I had to leave the computer on for about 12 to 15 hours every Saturday night to let it render overnight, and that was ridiculous. And the quality wasn't even that great. Well, the webcam isn't a limitation. I mean, this is a very, very new Logitech C920. Very nice webcam, stunning HD, all the bells and whistles, which I like. Uh, what else? Covered that, covered that, covered that. Oh yeah, uh, what's going to happen in the future? New fancy new computer. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be building the next computer or, or to buy uh, it pre-made from computerplanet.com or .co.uk. Seems to be a great site with very competitive prices and bundles and whatnot. So yeah, I'm, I'm either going to uh, buy the parts and build it with a... Oh, uh, with a uh, little bit of help from some people because I've never actually built my own computer before but I've got a lot of experience of actually building putting the parts together with an online configurator we're talking about like an i5 or an i7 uh, 8 or 16 gigs of DDR free RAM uh, like a dedicated SSD boot drive uh, a fairly large SSD just for storing games, a one terabyte Fraps drive just for recording, and I'm going to be taking this stuff very seriously once I get this set up, and a three terabyte overall storage drive. So I've got it pretty much set out completely. Maybe a GTX 670 or a 680. We'll have to see about my budget. I've been saving for years, <laughs> but you know, this is going to have to last me quite a few years. I'll probably be 21, going on 22 by the time I get my next computer after this one, but by then obviously have a deep, an okay job and have the money. So uh, once I have my new computer, that could be like the actual date when I purchase it and receive it. Could be between next week and towards the end of this year. Because I'm really not sure. But yeah, I'm not dead. I'm definitely going to return. And when I do, it's going to be flat out Skyrim Let's Play. That's what I mainly want to do. You know, Skyrim Let's Play. Um, with the Dawn Guard. No mods. Just me with the updated um, patch. As I'm speaking, I believe it's 1.6.8 or something pretty cool the patch. Oh yeah, mods. Now I said before I won't be running with any mods, but I actually will be. Okay, I, I can't remember the name of, off the top of my head, but I'll be running a mod that 
add text to make the journal more like in Morrowind so I can complete quests in Skyrim without actually looking at the quest marker. I'll be playing it with the quest markers off, with the compass off, hopefully. With like, I can't click on the locations on the world map and fast travel. No fast travel. It's going to be like a mixture of Gix's. <coughs> it's basically going to be a mixture of Gix's LP with Nazgatul's LP with my own uh, flair on it. Maybe flair is the wrong word. That's kind of makes me sound kind of pretentious, but. You know, it won't be as slow as Nezhadol's, it won't be as role-playing orientated like Nezhadol's. It'll be like Gix, but with my ugly face in the corner of the screen. <laughs> so it's going to be like, you know, I'm going to be like over in that corner over there, like Nezhadol, not like Gix. So yeah, I hope you actually enjoy watching this, whoever is actually out there listening to me still. I will return. And uh, yeah, one little thing before I end this little... Uh, Veldoril log, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I will not be partnering this channel, even if I get a couple of thousand subscribers in the future or whatever. There's no way I'm going to partner it. Probably the worst comes to worst, I'll just add like a small PayPal donation link in the channel, but now nah, I don't see that happening either. But yeah, we just have to see what happens. So I'll be returning sometime this year, hopefully with a new computer so I can play Skyrim and all the other games and even this doesn't play Oblivion on Ultra or Max it's uh, it's okay on high but you know it's a Dell D D Dimension 9200 with external 1 terabyte drive anyway so uh, that wraps this up and uh, hopefully you'll be seeing me play the game quite soon until next time this is Valdorio signing off once again